What's up, everybody? We back with another message, another video. Thank you to all my new subscribers and future new subscribers. You know we do nothing here without God because everything is spiritually led by God over here. We cover the world from a spiritual and physical aspect to get the raw, real, and uncut answers because the world needs to hear it. <laughs> so whatever you hear, whatever you see in these end times, may you test the spirits. It's your responsibility to take the words and visuals you see and hear in these end times back to God in prayer, in prayer, in prayer first so God can give you confirmation, not you give yourself confirmation, all right? <laughs> okay, because the enemy got all these Decepticons run, running around trying to tell you what's right and what's not, but God is the only one that can tell you that because that's your father and that's all to it, all right? The word for the day, God says, the world experiences ordinary days, but you got the extraordinary ways. So why did God told me, I typed in extraordinary, right? Unusual, essentially, right? Extra, extraordinary, extraordinary, unusual ways. That is nothing but God giving me confirmation after what happened to me today, um, where I was put in a situation where I, I'm telling y'all, I'm sorry to cut y'all off here. I feel like it's something illegal going on. Like I see all these girls, different girls in their in their cars, getting into these dudes' cars. Like these girls at this Target are getting into these dudes' cars. I like, and I keep seeing this, and I'm just like, well, is this a spot? Like, am I? Should I call the cops? Do y'all hear this? This shit just got in his car. This is a, the sixth time I've seen this. But they don't want to do it with cops around. Sorry, I just had to say that. God, what you trying to tell me? Anyway, sorry. Let's get back to this word. I just had to, <laughs> I just had to point that out. Um, oh, what's going on? Um, so anyway, I was in a situation where I had to, I was standing up once again for the plan God had for me. And something that was said to me, oh, because uh, this and that, you won't be blessed. You won't be blessed. And I'm just like, oh, that's a demon talking through a person. Like, and I'm just going to stand my ground with God. And that's all to it. So a lot of people try to compare you to others, either around your age group or saying this is what success you should, should have throughout the world. But God is saying, oh, my goodness, he's saying today you don't need to worry about those ordinary ways through these ordinary days to people while you have the extraordinary ways. And how I came across, well, I'm going too far. I'm going too far because this blew my mind. OK, so I'm going to talk about the dreams first. OK, we got to talk about the dreams first. So in the first dream, I was in line like to get food. Right. And. I saw a bunch of different people, including a family member. Oh, my goodness. This is the Holy Spirit giving me confirmation because um, I'm understanding this word so much better as I'm speaking to you guys. We were me and my dad were ordering food, but the people in front of us, it's like it was a long line, but they start exiting the line. So we got closer and closer, faster and faster. Then there was a family member in front of us that didn't know what she wanted. And she got out the way and, and didn't even have her food order. She says, you know what? I'm going to go home and order my food online and come back. And yeah, my dad already knew what we wanted, and then we left, and, um, you know, we were the last in line, but the first to get and receive. Can you believe that? God says the last shall be the first, and the first shall be the last. He keeps telling me that. Second dream. I seen everybody from my, in my family and different people on the street that I was living, having fun, partying, doing all this stuff, right? But I felt so uncomfortable in the dream, and everybody was showing off cars and and successes of from the world and I just did not feel like I belong there and so you know all right I was like okay so then God woke me up but that's when that whole conversation I just went over about being compared to other people in the world of my age came up but it was just a demon that worked to take advantage of emotions and stuff like that uh, and I got 
over pretty quickly. The devil's ways. The devil will be attacking you in these times right before blessings. He's going to try to get you to move so bad. He's going to want to know what your plans are so bad through other people. Like if you got people going through depression or anxiety around you, they will start taking that out on you as a sign of projection and stuff like that. But that's really the enemy taking advantage, the spirit of depression, the spirit of anxiety, taking advantage of these people's thoughts and attacking you. Okay? And taking their worries and attacking you so that they can know what's coming for you. They can know what your plans are so they can get you to move. Don't budge in the name of Jesus. Don't budge. Okay? So, this is what the Lord said. Then, okay, before I completed what the Lord had me type in my phone, his words, he told me to, uh, he led me to this thing called Extraordinary Ways, right? It was a song. And I'm like reading these lyrics and it's talking about people who don't have anything to their name in this world. Like it's some of you I know are struggling and trying to survive, but really don't have nothing to your name for real. Nothing. But what you do have and the song was saying through ordinary days, you have extraordinary way. And I'm like, oh, my God, that's God. Through the ordinary day, regardless of what the world looks like, the trophies, the gold uh watches that people had of cars and all these things they call success through their ordinary day you actually have the extraordinary way and god treasures the time you spend with him oh 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 that song what i'm like this ain't nothing but god speaking to me as communication for this word after what just happened to me today and them dreams so this is what the lord had to say he says i am harsh yet a truthful judge Having so much mercy, people still turn away from my love and the son of man. The devil, so this is what he was talking about when it came to people being judged. He says, the devil writes in fire of his servants and places the bounty of those who work for me. So why I keep seeing, y'all, every time the Lord talks about there being bounties on God's uh, chosen people, I see this big rock like that would be in hell with fire written and it, they names on this rock and fire because there's, there's a bounties placed upon their life that the devil wants to take them out. But the Lord is saying both the devil will have names written and know people's names, whether they be servants or uh, people that he's trying to take out. And God, I can see God with these holy scrolls like I see hands with these holy scrolls, like the book of life and stuff, just writing down his his servants, his children, his chosen people what they going through and recording, right? So God made the, the importance to me that, yes, it's one thing for the devil to know your name, but if the devil and Jesus knows who you are, and you know, that is a sign that you are making moves. Because if the devil only knows your name, you're going to be departing from God because he never knew you, right? So the devil... In Jesus knowing your name, that means you making moves because you stirring up trouble in hell and you making God happy in heaven. OK, so he I'll continue with this word. He says, while the worldly are distracted and do not know my name, you continue to praise my name. I don't know who this is for. But I know this was for me. You continue to praise my name and hold me close. Many say to you, you need this job or you need to be like this person of your age, but you still stick with me. The extraordinary way on the ordinary day. Oh, my gosh. This was literally the song. He says, you may not have gotten the trophy, the car, the money, and whatever comes with this world, but you do have the extraordinary, the extraordinary. Do you believe in this? Can you see it? Treasures in heaven. He says, because you follow the extraordinary, people will say you are so lucky. And he says, very soon, oh, do you know this word when I saw that song and read those lyrics? I'm going to have to put it in the outro today. Just so, oh, when, oh, when he pointed me to that song, I almost lost it. Because I read the lyrics and I was like, what? God. You know, so he was just giving reassurance that because you have the extra no extraordinary way the extraordinary way you oh you don't even know because you follow the unusual the 
never before seen because you go to the unknown with God, you're going to receive things people never seen before. And he says very soon. It don't matter who try to move you out the way you stay firm with God because people are jumping ship because they're losing hope. You, the ones that stay true, going oh, y'all going, oh, oh, I feel it in the spirit. Y'all going to really, y'all ain't going to regret it. God is saying, when you stick with me to the to the point of destination for a certain blessing or to the end, you don't even know what is being stored up for you. Oh, peace and blessings. And I will catch y'all in the next one.